right. Here we are, dancing cocktails. <laughs> Hi, sweet friends. Welcome to Watercolor Happy Hour. I'm Volta, the artist behind Color Snack, and this is my husband, Dan. He is uh, the mixologist. Mixologist. Our mixologist happy hour. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we see Yolanda, David, Patricia on the line. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited about tonight's cocktail. Yes. It's, it's, it can also be a mocktail, right? Yes. If you find the syrup. If you find the syrup. In fact, we were, we were trying to make a mocktail today and we could not for the life of us find uh, the uh, Japanese melon syrup yeah. that's used to make a ice cream float. Mm -hmm. But so, I know it's out there. It has to be. It has to be. It, it looks so good. But I think people could try with a different syrup, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's an ice cream float. I, mean, I think it just wouldn't soda. be green. Like, I really wanted to paint the green cocktail, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But we yeah. didn't find it. But we found Midori, which is Midori. Yeah, me, me, do, do, me, me, I, I didn't even know. I had no idea it was it was a Japanese. Um, uh, I guess it'd be a aperitif, cordial, cordial. Oh, cordial yeah, yeah, Japanese cordial. I, I, I did, I did some quick research on it. I learned so much in just a brief period of time. It is, it is a very quintessentially '70s liqueur. Mm. I had always associated with that, but it's been made since like the '60s in Japan. It was introduced in the States in the uh, in the mid 70s, I think I want to say 74, uh, in a uh, in a party at Club 54, hosted by the producers of Saturday Night Fever. It is about as 70s as you can get. It is it is leisure suits, disco balls, and Midori. Mm. That is the 70s. Yeah. Uh, now. I had stayed away from it. I haven't tried. I haven't tried this stuff since I'd probably say high school, yeah. so like '90s, 2000 era. What? what? Why are you whispering? <laughs> most most people have had alcohol in high school. Okay, all right, all right, cool. Unlike you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Salutatory over here. Okay, all right. Just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you were, you were drinking <laughs> in high school. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, can you guys hear us, by the way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were just going on. Yeah, Yolanda loves your shirt. And, uh, oh, thank you, Yolanda. This shirt is not made by me, but the jacket, though. The jacket is made by me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> and Yolanda also asked, what does it taste like? Uh, it tastes like melon. Uh, it tastes like, like a green melon, like right? Like a green melon. Like imagine a uh, like a honey, not a honeydew. Uh, what's the, like, uh, not a honeydew. What's the what's the? Is that a honeydew? It's, I think it is honeydew. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is honeydew. Cantaloupe's the orange one. Honeydew is the yes. green one. Uh, so this is this is technically a, a, the flavor is musk melon, which I can't say I've ever had, uh, but it tastes like a very sweet version of. Uh, a honeydew melon. It's, mm -hmm. it's it tastes like you would expect a honeydew melon to taste like instead of just kind of like a honeydew melon tastes like I don't know no, melon okay. flavored water. Oh um, yeah, some some do. Yeah, yeah, I feel like maybe the Japanese ones have a lot of flavor. Yeah, That's why. imagine imagine the best sweetest yeah. honeydew melon that you've ever had and it's it this. be about like this. And it's also a very high in alcohol. Right? Yeah, it is. It is half of what a usual. Uh, spirit is it's 20% rather than 40%. Uh, and what I was getting at when uh, what I was getting at for you, you interrupted <laughs> yeah, me uh, about high school, high school drinking. Uh, the reason why I didn't enjoy it when I was younger was it was so sweet. In 2013, they reduced the sugar content. Uh, yeah. And so many people like me had no idea they did it. Didn't know they reduced the sugar content and just assumed it was still just cloyingly sweet. Yeah, it's not. It's actually yeah. good. It's so good. Very refreshing too. Yeah, and I, I should have known. It's again. It's another Suntory one. I didn't even know Suntory made this until I, I looked up online. But yeah, so we've got we've got the whiskey. Oh, this, we've got. I just noticed the the cap. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what. Um, 
probably a Centauri logo. What the logo is, but it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks neat. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so all of you. <laughs> First time seeing green liquor. Yeah, Tiffany, yeah. this is so fun. Like, I can't wait to paint it. So let's yeah. go. It's much, it's much better <laughs> tasting than the other green liquor that we did one episode on and promptly forgot about. Oh, it. the green mint one. Yeah, it's disgusting. The, it's green like grasshopper. Yeah, cocktail. creme de mint. And the creme de mint is just, it's like drinking toothpaste. Yes. That's my my quick um, review for you guys. Yes, yeah. uh, we're using it. Sure, it's really big. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So they can see it. Sorry. Yeah, we had a we had a, a glass malfunction on the one that we were using before. Yeah. But this is a, a very easy one. You just it's Midori, two ounces because it's you know only twenty percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. Two ounces of it, and then whatever other stuff you want. You want a little bit of sour to cut through it, so I'm just adding just a little bit of lime juice. Uh, and then something to give us a little bit of complexity since it's a cherry in there anyway, and then a few dashes of cherry bitters. Da, 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 da. Then we want to get that stirred in. My high tech stirring it's apparatus. Super easy. You don't need a shaker. You just, it's like one of those layered cocktails, right? Uh, built. It's called built. 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 Layered, layered is <laughs> layered. Built is built in the glass. Oh, uh, you want to sing it could make a green margarita? Yes. Oh, with tequila. Yeah, it'd be oh, a melon, melon that. margarita. Why I wonder not? That would be good. I'm sure it would and, be. Uh, and then Tiffany said, uh, this is Hulk's dream. Yeah, Hulk's dream. <laughs> well, speaking of Hulk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys uh, are into like superhero stuff. She Hulk is so great. We've only seen two episodes because that's how many have aired so far. <laughs> So we've um, seen all of them. We've seen all of them. That are available. But it's so good. Like it's just I love anytime though a woman in a superhero movie. I just feel like we don't have enough of that in the movie space. So it's so nice. And and they and they did it right too. Like it's given so much like power and agency to her. Oh, I, I love it. I just don't want to give it away. Uh, but I never felt this way. Okay, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Marvel is also another really great one because um, it's it's not just a female, but it's she's Pakistani, so it's like diving into the culture that's like almost never represented in movies. And anyway, I'll get off my um, TED talk about the, it. So well, your your, your like, geek is showing. Oh, what is oh this? God. I love yeah. this side of you. Yeah. Anyway, um, girl power. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can basically to make it a flow to. Um, yeah overflow it overflow that, or it. almost let me get the good so any um it's recommended to go with uh vanilla ice cream right mm -hmm. yes yeah and we're using halo top uh which is not like your typical ice cream so it kind of will look weird yours wouldn't if you well it would cookie. look it would look fine if we had the right glass size oh, okay so that's why the the, the thing's yeah. so wide and we don't have an ice cream scoop thick enough yeah because you threw it out because there was a spot of rust on it yes yes okay. yes mm -hmm. right. okay. what we want is to just tuck it in on the side i've only seen that Usually in, in the uh, the American version of an ice cream float, mm -hmm. they'll stick it on the top and it'll be all precarious. But uh, I like the uh, the aesthetic that I've seen of. <laughs> I've only seen it on on, uh, on Japanese ice cream floats where yeah. they'll stick it on the side. Oh, it's and so I think pretty. That's a nice, much cleaner way of doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yes. Thank you, David. I agree. Great camera work. Oh, that's good. Very good. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and another point on Tiffany's Incredible Hulk drink. Uh -huh. There is a drink called the Incredible Hulk. Ah, uh, okay. It is. Does it have Midori in it? No, it was. Uh, it was. It was very popular in I want to say the late 2000s, early 2010s as a party drink. Mm. Uh, it was a combination of uh, Hennessy, so cognac, and hypnotic. This. Oh. Yeah, it was it was very much a club drink. I, oh, I can't say I've ever had it, yeah. but it was it was wholly a marketing ploy. 
uh, and people would buy these like $30 drink mixtures just to say they were drinking an Incredible Hulk. Mm. Well, uh, you can instead make yeah. this quote to say you are an Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Also, it's totally Tiffany's fault for getting me on this thing. So, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, I did, I did want to try one other one really quickly oh, yeah, while we have a moment, and this is such a fast one. drink. I just read about it. It's called the Japanese Slipper. I don't even know how this is going to taste, but you do equal parts Midori and uh, Cointreau and a little bit of lemon juice. I can't imagine that tastes bad. So let's give it a go. Yeah, David, isn't this a really fun cocktail? He said nice color for a time. Yes. I, can't, exactly. I don't think I've ever painted um, one like that before. Yeah, not not this not not one that was pretty and you enjoyed drinking it. So I'm gonna do this. We just drop this guy in here. Since it's a 70s lounge cocktail, we have to use these bright red cherries. Then we're gonna take a ounce and a half of Quantro. Oops, let me improve my camera work too. I'm not as good as Volta, I apologize. I'm not the artist. Oh, oh no, I was talking about the, the camera work mm -hmm. we have here. Then we're gonna put in our Midori. I have to find some other uses for this cocktail too, now, this, uh, this liqueur now that we have it. And a little bit of lemon juice. Well, I'm not curious about a margarita for sure. Like, I wonder what, how the flavors will mix together. I'm sure so, it'll be. Thank you, Yolanda, for that idea. Get the water out of there. Shake it up. Then we'll come up with some other some other cocktails with this stuff. I bet there's some really cool things yeah. that you can do with it. Yeah. Challenge it. Tag Volta. Let's see what we have here. So it definitely looks pretty in yeah. green. That is sweet. I think I need to add more lemon juice. <laughs> Definitely good. needs more lemon oh. juice. Wow. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Wow, that is sweet. Maybe it's equal parts lemon. I, think, I don't think that's a good cocktail. <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't, I'm not having it. I'm good. I honestly. Yeah, that's a little yeah. bit too much. Yeah, even even with all that lemon in it, it still has like this. Put some club soda help it? I don't think so. Oh, okay, it's too sweet. So it's don't do much. don't do what it just did. I don't do that. that Basically, what, what is it called? Glass liquor. A, a Japanese forget about slipper. it. Ja forget about it. They're just too sweet. sweet. That is. They're yeah. too sweet together. Oh, it's like it's like yeah. it's like drinking a sweet tart. Yeah, either one or the other, but not both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How how do things that separately taste good combine bad? Yolanda's asking if it's reminding That is that is kind of the flavor I associate more with with Midori. Yeah, uh -huh. in the back of my throat. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's the actual um, look because that was the. Yeah, I just wanted to try something else out, and now we, yeah, my face is going to be as green as this, as this, as this uh, the liqueur. Get out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, that was a fun experiment. Anyway, now for the fun part. I mean, that was fun too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I will need some insulin. Thanks, David. <laughs> All right, so let's paint this uh, melon float. Got my paper here. So uh, the glass that I painted, actually, you could either do like a highball, which is two parallel lines, 
or in this case, I'm just gonna do like two lines that are slightly like going towards each other, just to mix it up, you know. So basically the glass is wider at the top and then more narrow at the bottom. And then we have two parallel lines, I mean, sorry, two curved lines at the bottom here. So very, very similar to a highball glass. It's just kind of parallel. It's kind of um, not not parallel. They're going going this way. Divergent. Divergent. Thank you. Uh, and then at the top, we'll also have another curved line here. And I'll go ahead and add the straw. So that's two parallel lines. I'm sketching them together. And uh, I'll just add the, the little details with paint. So just wanted to kind of um, arrange my details here. And then next I'll do the ice cream scoop. And that's going to be kind of like a circular shape, almost like a circle, but so it's going to like start like kind of like actually half a circle shape like this or like a dome. And then at the bottom, it's going to have like a series of, or like one wavy line that's going to just have like little, it's basically like it shows that it's the ice cream scoop. So, you know, it's like that scooped out onto the cocktail. Uh, and then next to it, we're going to have the cherry. And that's another circular shape right next to it. With a little stem. So basically, like, um, you could also paint this, you know, on the smaller glass size. Um, whatever speaks to you. I'm just going to erase a few of these extra lines. Oh, and then uh, last thing, I do want to add a couple of, um, what do you call them? Ice cubes. <laughs> yes, square, ice cubes. Little square shapes. Little little cold square things. Little cold, <laughs> cold square things. Yeah, these little guys. Usually cold, sometimes square. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's basically it. It's a very kind of simple cocktail as far as like a shape goes. Um, I wanted to share, so what inspired me to ask Dan to make this uh, was we, we are watching uh, this Japanese anime show called Restaurants of Another World. And it is so amazing. It, it's like there's, it's a restaurant and then there's different characters that walk into it and they get to enjoy a different type of food. So like every episode focuses on two different foods and it shows you the process of how it's food made. I mean, it, oh my gosh, it is, as someone who does food illustration, I love it so much. So uh, when they had an episode, they had this float, um, I immediately said, yeah, we have to make this on our show. Um, and I, I wish I could have found the melon syrup, but you know, Midori uh, works too. Leave it to me to make a cocktail out of it. Yeah. Although the one that shows you how it's made is a uh, 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 Isaki Izakaya, the Izakaya to another world, not the restaurant to another world. No, it is. No, it's... They're, oh, they're, yeah. they're two different ones. The one that the one the one with the float is restaurant to another world. Yeah. It's the yeah, older one. Cool. The one that shows you how the food's made that has like the... Oh, well, the no, the restaurant... But, I mean, the restaurant's another world. I know that's a different one. I'm yeah. saying that it does show the process of like, him topping the veggies. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, restaurant to another world also has more of a story to it. Yeah. yeah so, anyway, it turns out I have just the perfect green for this. Uh, if you don't have this exact green shade, you can just grab a green from your palette and mix it in with a little bit of yellow to kind of warm it up a little bit. Also, people people are making fun of my face now. David's saying I have an Iowa Lucy face when I tried that. Uh, does Lucy have that face? Lucille Ball, Lucille Ball had a uh, had a, a a very famous uh, stank face, I guess, for lack of a better term. <laughs> she could she could 
express her displeasure uh, visually very well. Oh, got it. <laughs> um, all right, so I've been painting uh, this green kind of around the ice cubes. And I'm just gonna like uh, add a little bit more details in here, like a few little brush strokes. Uh, and my light source is, so on this example, my light source is definitely on the right side, which I don't know what possessed me to do that, honestly. Um, it goes against <laughs> the natural way of how I paint. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep it on this what side. What a wild woman you I'm are. so wild. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I'm lifting off a little bit of color on the left side. I'm going to drop in a little bit more green here on the other side, just so that I have a bigger contrast between these. There we go. Uh, and then next, for the ice cream float, uh, the ice cream scoop, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of this, like, lighter blue diluted with tons of water just so that it's very light and I'm just gonna add like a, a few little brush strokes here on one side so you know the light source is hitting from the left hand side so then the other side is kind of the path shadow so I'm just adding like a few little brush strokes and then I, I'm not gonna soften this line so it has a smooth, smooth transition uh, and then see now we're going to go into the green I mean sorry the red for the cherry uh, okay I, I, David I was looking at the uh, the, the what you were saying there Vita, Vita Meta Vagaman comment I didn't get it and then I looked it up. I was like, oh, it was the I Love Lucy episode where she kept making that face over and over again. Now I get it. Yeah. Now I understand. Uh -huh. Yes, and also people are, 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 are commenting about your, your wildness of switching the uh, light sources. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically just trying to share that you know, light source can be where, from wherever direction because you get to decide. You are the creator of your art. If you're sketching, you can feel like having it from one side versus the other. I, I want you to feel empowered to do so. What if I want my light source to come from the bottom? Um, it'll be a little different. You'll have to like make sure your shading kind of matches that, but um, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm lifting up a little <laughs> of paint from the cherry, or just anyway. a clean, clean brush. And also, I'm going to use the same green, maybe, maybe a darker green to add a little details on the straw. I know I know it's not the straw that we use, but this one just looks better than the one we use. <laughs> yes, dear. And I'm just adding like little like slanted brush marks for that, uh, that little design of a straw. And this, uh, you'll see like this side actually like hasn't dried for me, so I'm painting right on top uh, while the paint is still wet. But I kind of like this look because the this green is kind of fading out into this area, so it looks, you know, like it's submerged in um, kind of, I feel like it looks a lot more like realistic and natural this way, uh, as opposed to, you know, waiting for it to dry. Like if I were to, you know, allow this to dry and paint on top, it just looks a little too like pronounced and the last thing that is, is a good looking straw thank you. Say, maybe we should we should pick up some stripy straws yeah i think they're biodegradable right if they're paper yeah i would only do those because um hashtag save the program yeah and then the last thing is adding a few little shadow marks here on the right hand side so you know my light source is like the opposite side so it's gonna be a little darker here on the glass just to give it a little bit more dimension and that's pretty much it i mean you're welcome to add a cast shadow let me go ahead and do it why not i'm pretty wild today so crazy yeah yeah 
David, I know you're joking about making a drink from, from the bottom, but I can always use one of these protein mix shakers in the Vitamix. Speaking of Vitameta Mega Vegamin, I can make a I can make a margarita with this thing, and they may, technically are made upside down. Oh, that's where the blender is. Yeah, flip it open. There you go. Challenge accepted, sir. <laughs> and for for this cast shadow, I just use a ton of Payne's gray. Um, it's very like kind of dark. Um, if you're not a fan of this dramatic look, uh, I definitely like dilute it with more water. But um, I'm kind of okay with like I like how it just like instantly just so dramatic pops on the page. Pop. Oh. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's pretty much it. I like the way it looks. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, the, the shadow. Yeah, the didn't shadow. it? Didn't like the compared to the this one. It's just like boom! Oh my god! It's right. It's like is it is this real? Could I grab it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought all of a sudden it just appeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a pro. Damn. Yeah, you are a pro. Uh, all right. So they well, know. They know the, the power of the Vitamix yeah. and all the accessories. Yeah, it's, it's a good tool, definitely. That's oh, a smooth. Yeah. I know. I was so reluctant to get on the Vitamix bandwagon, but boy, it's, it's like KitchenAid. Got that, yeah. that new attachment on our on the KitchenAid that lets us like grate yeah, vegetables. Yeah, really uh, Who knew? Maybe they should make a KitchenAid attachment. Oh, uh, <laughs> you should make that and then patent it and sell it to kitchen. It doesn't rotate. I don't know. <laughs> you, you might. You know what you could do? Uh, you could. You could probably make a uh, a uh, an ice baller out of it. Uh -huh. It would spin. Mm -hmm. You could do the thing that would make the ice ball that people have in scotches. Yeah. Which. I, I, I don't know if it is. There's just a particular set of audience for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, it's not. You'd still have to freeze it ahead of time, and you uh, might as well at that point just get the ball in the thing. But all right, we'll, we'll, we'll noodle on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll noodle on it. We'll, meaning we'll promptly forget about it as soon as we. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> yeah. It is a very good blender. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and um, I hope you uh, maybe get inspired to either pick up Midori or just um, try the float. Just any sort of honestly, that's what a float is. Really, it's so it's like usually soda, like a yeah, Coke soda. or something, and an ice cream on top. Yeah, now uh, I, it, not something that that I keep around, but I've heard that uh, Dr Pepper mm -hmm. ice cream floats are delicious. Mm -hmm. That's a good. Yeah. Texan yeah. alternative. That is a mocktail. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, who, needs, who needs alcohol when you can have ice cream and soda? Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll be back actually next week's still same time, but we are gonna move the show to Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. Volta's yeah. got yet another thing that she's got an opportunity to do. Yeah. And you'll be uh, you'll be taking. Uh, communication courses once a week and uh, what is it the David Carnegie Dale Carnegie Dale not David Dale Carnegie sorry sorry <laughs> Dale Carnegie uh, Institute yeah. so that'll be exciting you'll be, your, your communication skills I know be exponential just... next 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 time you see me I'll be on I don't know <laughs> no, yeah, not really. No, I, I'm I, kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> not, not that kind of. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I won't. I won't. I won't even be like like the voice anymore. Now, you'll be the one that's doing all the talking uh, while we're showing There'll be enough room for both of us. I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna be so talented. You're you're shot so bright. God, that'll be amazing. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, and have a great rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.